press 1. For any AT&T sales or service need, press 2. Welcome to AT&T. Para español, más que uno. Okay, please say or enter the 10-digit phone number listed on your account. You can also say, I don't have one, or... I don't have one. So that I can send your call to the best place, I need to know the general reason for your call. For payments, say payments, or press 1. For technical support or repair, say tech support, or press 2. To disconnect service, say disconnect, or press 3. To find out about ordering new service or service availability in your area, say new service, or press 4. To make changes or move existing service, say change service, or press 5. For billing questions, say billing, or press 6. Or for none of those. Okay, which service are you calling about? Internet, TV, cell phone, phone line, or more than one? More than one. Are you calling about your UVerse account? Yes. Okay. For UVerse services, please say or enter your nine-digit UVerse account number now. You can also say, I don't know it, or I don't have one. I or, don't know it. I think you said you don't know it. Is that correct? Yes. Before I can help you with your UVerse account, I need to know the telephone number that's associated with your account. Please say or enter it now. You can also say, I don't know it. I don't know it. Tell me which you're calling about, a home or business account. Home. Got it. Just a moment while I connect you to someone who can help answer questions about your bill. Remember, you can also get help or information at att.com. For quality assurance, your call may be monitored or recorded. If you do not wish to be monitored or recorded, please advise your AT&T representative. Hello? Are you serious? Hello? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Are you going to pick up? I pushed everything correct this time. Hello, anybody home? Please pick up. Now, do I need to start all over again? Are you serious? Just gonna go to air. God, I hate AT and T. I mean, I really hate them. This is the fourth time I've done this, and it just goes nowhere. I wonder how long I should hold for. An hour? At least give me music. Okay, we'll try again. Calling about regulated local exchange. Welcome to AT&T. Okay, please say or enter the 10-digit phone number listed on...
So that I can send your call to the best place, I need to know the general reason for your call. Billing. For payment. I think you said billing. Is that correct? Yes. One moment while I get more information. Okay. Which service are you calling about? You first. Internet. Sorry, please say one of the following. AT&T U-verse. Please tell me which of these U-verse services you're calling about. Internet, TV, phone line, or more than one. More than one. I think you said more than one service. Is that correct? Yes. Are you calling about your U-verse account? <laughs> yes. Okay. For U-verse services, please say or enter your nine-digit U-verse account number now. Sorry, I'm not sure what you entered. Please say or enter your nine-digit U-verse account number, which is in the up. you're calling about a home or business account home got it just a moment while i connect you to someone who can help answer questions about your bill remember you can also get help or information at att.com for quality assurance your call may be monitored or recorded if you do not wish to be monitored or recorded please advise your at&t representative Today? Oh, finally. Only 20 minutes to get somebody, a human being, on the phone. Somebody should make one of those CEOs try and call in and see how long it takes them. Anyway. I apologize for the inconvenience. I know. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I'll take this as a feedback. Anyway, um, I, I, on my AT&T U-verse account, about, right. I don't know, maybe seven or eight months ago, I, I, I noticed that there was a phone number on there we never use, and, uh, and you guys were charging me a monthly fee for it. And uh, you guys, I don't know, you gave me like a, a month credit, you took it off because I didn't notice it. But I notice every once in a while on my TV, Uverse, that somebody's calling that phone because there's nothing plugged into it. I hope I'm not getting charged all this time for that phone number. So can you look at my account and see if it's still on there? Sure, so I'll definitely go ahead and have a quick check on the account too. Please help me with the account number. I'm glad I can help. Uh, I don't know the account number, but I can tell you the phone number that used to be associated with the account number, which is the one that shows up on my TV. Not a problem, so please help me with the telephone number. 949-363-8040. How are you today, sir? I'll be better when this is done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me see what this I can do here to make you feel uh, a valid customer today. And may I have your name, sir? Carl Gennaro, G E N N A R O. Thank you so much. May I call you by your first name? You should call me anything you like. Alright, thank you, Carl. And in order to verify your account, may I have the four digit passcode? I have no idea. My four-digit passcode, I can guess. Um, there's pause. I need amortization. The second one is correct. Oh, okay. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, yes, yeah, so I do see that you have called in to cancel your home phone services. They had already placed in cancellation order. Well, just, just for that one phone number. Just it. Right. So, so am I paying them? Is it on my bill all these months? Still? I, I do see it's on your bill, sir. Well, well, why is it still on my bill? I've been getting charged for it all year then. Well, I apologize. So give me one moment. Let me check it, this particular bill. 
Okay, but you do yeah. see that I called in before and canceled it, right? That's right, sir. Oh. I did see that. Okay. I will hold. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're still charging us for that phone number. I saw it on the screen. Yeah, but he sees it on the account that it was canceled, but they didn't cancel it and still getting charged. They charge you? Yeah, every month. Almost a year. Are you still there? I'm here, sir. I'm oh, working okay. in the private car. Okay, I was just getting worried. I was still working in the car. I'm not going to hang up, sir. I'm working in the car. Okay, let me give you... Okay, right. uh, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you. Sell that business, Oasis. When, when was it? Yeah. It was the year before last year. It was the year before that, right? Yeah. So in 2012, in like August. Still there? I'm here. Sir. Oh, okay. I can, you can hear me, but I can't hear you. It's just too quiet. That's right, sir. Because I place you on mute. You can call my name, sir, for any help. Just call my name. I'll yeah. get back. You know, actually, I, I figured it out. I had I had canceled this number in uh, actually 2013, 2012, in August. And of course, I didn't even notice it that it was still on my bill for over a year. And then when I called, right. and you know, and it's it's just like painful. <laughs> right, so I certainly understand, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. Not to worry. Once I get your call connected to the accounts team, I've gone ahead and left a brief note on the on on your documentation here. Okay. So I've left a brief documentation. You need not have to explain this to the accounts as well. Okay. So they will go ahead and have a cross check on the account, and they will definitely cross the credits accordingly. Okay.
card. Uh, pay the charges for this month of thirty-eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. Processing a credit on your file of thirty-eight ninety-eight for the bills which was printed for this particular telephone number. And I'm also gone ahead and deactivated. Uh, I'm sorry, deactivated the number with eight zero four zero. So you will have one single line going forward. That's nine four nine four nine five seven one three zero. Okay. And you're going to put me to somebody special. That's right, sir. I'm going to get your call connected to one of our accounts team for them to go ahead and process the credit right away. Before I can do that, sir, do you have any other question or concern in regards with your account, which might make you call us for the next 30 days? Please let me know. I can resolve the issues for you right on this call. No, that's fine. Just give me the other guys. That's right. Thank you so much, Carl. Would you say that you were very satisfied about well, I handled your request? No, I'll be satisfied if they took off the charges from August of 2012. But my question is, if I get cut off from you, who do I call so I don't have to go through 37 different push buttons on the machine, on the phone that doesn't understand me anyway? Right, so I'll give you a direct line. Please make a note of the number. Go ahead. It's 866-821-1125. Mm-hmm. That's 886-821-1125. That's right, so. Okay, and is that going to, is that? that? It's 866. No, no, I understand. Okay, what's the name of it? The, the co- it's Accounts Receivable. Oh, Accounts Receivable. Okay. That's right. Transfer me over, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Carl. All right. I request the key for you. Please don't text and drive. Okay. Have you have a great day. Just a quick recap. You have called in today in regards to the bills. They fix the bills for you. And your phone services has to be terminated. So I'm going to get your call. Your phone services has been terminated as of now. So in regards to the credits, I'm getting you connected to the right people. You okay. have a great day and you take care. Please don't text and drive. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Before I decided to record. Thank you for calling AT and T. My name is Tony Johnson. With whom am I speaking? This is Carl Gennaro. Hi, Carl. Can I get your account number or phone number? I'll be happy to help today. Well, I got a new one, so let's try it. Nine four nine four nine five. Okay. Is this in regards to your UVerse account or home phone only? I don't know. It's one one account. It's UVerse account with telephone numbers and TV. Isn't it all one package? I'm, I can check that for you. I just got the call. Um, do you by chance have the account number? That's not, you can't do it with that? Um, I, it's pulling up it's not an active account. Um, let me see if I can find you here. Well, I, I'll give you the old, okay, let me just recap real quick. I had a phone number, uh, 949-363-8040. I've had it for maybe seven years, I'm guessing. Okay, I sold the business in August of 2012. I called to cancel that phone number. I kept all the other phone numbers. I kept the UVerse. I kept the TV. I paid like 350 bucks or 400 bucks a month. I don't even know what it is. But that phone number never got canceled. I didn't realize it until this year. I called and canceled it. You guys gave me one month credit and said it was my fault because I didn't notice it. And then I'm sitting here watching TV, and I just see it, that number flashing on my, on my TV again, that somebody's calling it. I don't have no phone hooked up to it. I haven't had a phone hooked up to it since July, actually, of 2012. I mean, you could look at the phone number and see that I never made a call on it. So I just talked to somebody, I've got, and I'm recording this, by the way, I just want to let you know. I'm up to 29 minutes and 11 seconds, on, on, not, not counting the other 30-minute call that they hung up on me and, and I had to start all over again. So here I am. He, he see, if you look at my account, the guy told me, he sees that I called in, uh, at the beginning of this year, but it never got canceled. So he gave me another one-month credit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I need I need my I need it fixed, and I need my credit from August of 2012, not not from now. So. Okay. Um. Do you by chance? Okay. So you're wanting a credit on your active account that you have with us? Yes. You didn't okay. understand you what I said. Know, so I can get that account number. Um, I, I only have phone numbers. I don't remember account numbers. Okay. Let me take a look here. Um. I just sure. pull up one, a UVerse account here. Can I get you to verify um the four-digit passcode? 
one that I pulled up here. Let me take a look at this one. Okay, well, if you have the passcode, and I knew the passcode, it has to be the account. Okay, so you have your TV, your internet, and your phone service um, with Uverse all combined, and the phone number. Yeah, it all comes on one box. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. I mean, isn't that what Uverse is? Um, yeah, it just depends. I mean, not okay. everyone has all anyway. the services. I just wanted to verify what you have. Okay, Thanks. so you found me. The phone number um, that we have listed here. Okay, so we have the one that's okay. That's well, hang on. We have one that's uh, let's see, nine four nine. I'm just looking at your most recent bill. Okay, sure, sure, sure. nine four nine five four five seven one five two. Yeah, I, I think I, I have that one too. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, and nine four nine three six three eight zero four zero. That's the one that I canceled. That needs to be can that should be canceled. Well, okay. he, he told me he just canceled it, but they told me they canceled it at the beginning of the year, and they told me they canceled it in August of 2012. So I've been paying for this thing for I don't know since then. Right. I, and I just don't understand why. Is it that difficult? Or do I just need to cancel yeah. all of it? Um, and, I, and I apologize, that, especially, you know, if they said that they can tell that you called in. Um, you well, know, the other thing, too, is, you know what? You, you really need to have somebody in your company make believe that they have a problem and try and call in. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's insane. Okay, I am so sorry. If you listen, I'm going to put this on YouTube, and I want to send it to you the link, and you listen to what the painfulness, and I know all the right things to say. Even knowing all the right things to say is painful. <laughs> you know, it's it just, yeah, uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's totally crazy. Okay, well, and, and I, I'm so sorry about that, sir. I mean, I do see, I, I pulled up your, your okay. account, they yeah. submitted the order. Um, you're, I'm looking at a balance now of $38.98, and I know you're calling now to, to you're, obviously you're wanting more credits on this account. Um, yeah, how much do I pay, you know what? It's being transferred to me. Yeah, how, many, how much do I pay a month total, roughly? Go ahead, I'm sorry. How, how, how much do I pay my bill as a monthly a total, roughly? Um, let's see. You have your TV service. Like I'm looking at your most recent one. Yeah, this is, you, it's probably, always around the same, roughly. Yeah, around one one thirty nine each month. What's more than that? I mean, between phone, t between phone, TV, and the internet, it's only one thirty nine. No, no, no. That was just your TV portion. Oh, oh okay. It's not pulling up your internet. That runs you around seventy one. Okay. So that with that, that's two ten already. And then with the phone portion that you had, and I'm just going off your most, you know, recent bill mm -hmm. with that phone number. Um, so now with that phone number canceled, it looks like that's going to take an additional thirty-five dollars off each month. Mm -hmm. um, but I get one bill, don't I? I don't get three bills. Yeah, no, I was just breaking them down. Oh, I don't need to break it down. TV and the internet. But, but the point is, I'm paying a lot of money every month, and I right. and I also have costs, and I have a hundred. I got two hundred other bills that I pay. So when the one phone number gets lost in there, I didn't catch it. And if it doesn't ring here in the house, I have no phone plugged into it, so I never know. Like I said, the only time I, only time I, every once in a, the only time I've been called is when I see it pop up on the TV that somebody's trying to call it, you know, some 800 number trying to sell me something because I won't even have it listed anywhere. And were you speaking to someone prior to get, because, sir, I'm an accounts receivable. I take payments and make arrangements. I know you're wanting additional credits on here, and, mm -hmm. and I apologize. Oh, am I in the wrong department? Right, and as far as additional credits, I, I'd have to get you to customer service, and you'd want to, I definitely want to ask for a manager in that department. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just spent 29 minutes with the other guy, and he said he put me to you because you can do it, because he can't do it. For for credits, okay, because yeah, I'm not going to be able to, because you're wanting to, uh, yeah, we're not. Uh, well, it's really I simple. Mean, you guys have access to the, you guys have access to the number. Just look at no, it. I never, I, mean, it's like you, I never made a phone call on it, ever. So you, you can you see know, it. You received credit at the thirty-eight ninety-eight for one month. Um, well, let me place you on hold and see if there's any other options that maybe I could do. Okay. I definitely want to help so you out. So just remember, so from, I, sold my, I sold that business in August of 2012. So every month is just one moment? No, I don't mind at all. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Where? So tweet, post, upload, and share with confidence. To learn more, visit ATP.com slash network. AT&T Next makes it easy to keep up with technology for zero down. Eligible customers can sign up and get a new smartphone today and every year. Upgrade now to the new Samsung Galaxy S5 with AT&T Next. Technology doesn't wait. Why should you?
Seconds count. Save time with the My at and app. You can quickly pay your bills, check upgrade eligibility, and upgrade your device, shop for accessories, and get support 24-7. Search for My at and in your phone's app store and download it today. Or just go to att.com slash My app. Your friends deserve a great deal in wireless. Refer them to us and you can both earn up to $575 a year in at and promotion cards. Visit att.com slash refer for details and to start earning rewards. Secure and monitor your home while you're away with AT&T Digital Life. Our 24-7 professionally monitored home security service makes managing your home a breeze. Our easy-to-use app allows you to turn your alarm on and off, and with optional automation packages, you can lock and unlock doors and even control the temperature and the light in your home from almost anywhere. All you need is your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Check it out at att.com slash digital life. Digital life has limited availability in select markets. Some restrictions apply. The AT&T exclusive Samsung Galaxy S5 Active fits your active lifestyle. It meets military standards for both water resistance and extreme temperatures. It's also the perfect runner's companion. Press a single key to access a stopwatch, compass, and more. Get the Galaxy S5 Active for zero down with AT&T Next today. See a store for details. up with your family with AT&T Family Map. See where your kids are and get text and email alerts to keep you in the know about your family's whereabouts. Try it for a month at no cost to see if it's right for you. After 30 days, monthly charges will apply unless canceled. Ask our representative or visit att.com slash family map for more information. committed to putting an end to texting and driving. Our message is simple yet vital. When it comes to texting and driving, it can wait. Take the pledge not to text and drive and download our Drive Mode app today at itcanwait.com. We're building you a better network. That means that over 99% of all calls on our network stay connected. And since our voice and data network covers more than 99% of all Americans, we're covered almost anywhere. So tweet, post, upload, and share with confidence. To learn more, visit att.com slash network. AT&T Next makes it easy to keep up with technology for zero down. Eligible customers can sign up and get a new smartphone today and every year. Upgrade now to the new Samsung Galaxy S5 with AT&T Next. Technology doesn't... Thank you so much for holding, Carl. I'm still here. I appreciate your patience, sir. Um, based, what, what I can do looking at this, I mean, and I definitely understand your circumstance, especially not being in the business since 2012 for that phone line. I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, you know, we don't have the ability to kind of look and see, uh, or, you know, here as far as any credits are, as far as it's, it's being used or not. It's just simply we need the phone call to, to get something canceled. I do see the notations when it was supposed to be or when, the, when a call was made and it didn't specifically go through in August. Um, and but like I said, we do see that the order did go through today. You received a credit for August and also October for that thirty-eight ninety-eight. I mean, the only thing I can do, um, I, you know, I can definitely submit another credit for that September one for the thirty-eight ninety-eight, giving you an, an additional credit balance on your account. Whatever. Um, you, you guys wore me to the ground. <laughs> you guys wore me out. What can I say? Okay. Well, I can definitely let me go ahead and get this submitted for you. You, you, you realize it's not fair, right? 
So the only reason I that, completely understand where you're coming from. It's just yeah. we, you know, I mean, we and it's really simple. Now, I can I can prove I can prove I sold the business, and you don't need that. I know, but I'm just saying that you could also it. you could also prove that that no phone call was ever made from that on that phone number because you guys record you, you guys record no phone really numbers called, huh? Yeah, we would just still need the phone call in order to get it canceled. Yes, sir. But, I mean, I definitely was able to submit that extra one. So right now it's leaving a credit balance of $77.96 on your account. I mean, you, that's really kind of lumbering if you think about it. I mean, you charged since, you know, since August of 2012 every month. I don't know, it's hard to be grateful. <laughs> For too much credit after I've been paying I wanted to do a little bit, you know, I, I know you've spoken to multiple departments and usually once there's a credit posted, um, that, that's what we can do. But, I mean, I, I try to do the most, you know. No, I understand. I it's not your fault that this is, it's not your fault that AT&T is screwed up. I, I, I understand that completely. But somewhere, someday, some, I don't know, I guess that's what happens when you have a monopoly, you've got no choice. Well, I do apologize about that, sir. I mean, I definitely, um, it's, like I said, it's leaving that credit balance now at seventy-seven ninety-six, and you know, I, I mean, I'm definitely sorry you feel that way. As you know, as far as that, just well, I'm just lucky you have one. I'm, I'm just lucky you have one note, note in the file. But the first guy didn't give me a note in the file, so I got screwed because right. I just didn't look. You know, I mean. Right. I'm running multiple businesses, and you forget to look, and you look, and then you Absolutely. see something like that, and you go, "What?" I, I, I'd rather, I'd rather give them thirty-five dollars to somebody on the street every month. No, I, <laughs> just I walking by in the mall, and say, "Here you go, go buy something." Exactly. When you think of it that way, no, I completely understand where you're coming from, sir. I wish there was a little bit, you know. I mean, I, we can just go by the notes here, and I, I definitely wanted to confirm that it was done this time, and it is, and I wanted to give you that extra month of credit there. But I definitely understand where you're coming from. I do apologize. For Sir. Well, the other guy should have gave it to me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you know, instead so of making me wait another tw twenty minutes to do, so I wanted know. to kind of, you know. I mean, he, he, he should have been able to at least give me the credit from the note that's in the file. Right. Right. So I, I agree. That's why we're going to place you on hold and, and you know try to do a little override there to make sure that that was done for you and it has. I'm looking at a credit now. Why don't you just give me a couple of months for free? Why don't you just give me a couple of months for free on the service? <laughs> If you can't give me a credit. Wait, yeah, I, I can only do what you know what, what the notes will support. So that's why I was able to actually get this one approved and, and submit it as far as it's the original order back in August. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe once I put it on I YouTube. I like, everything here. Maybe once I, once I put it on once I put it on YouTube and Facebook, it'll go viral and I'll, I'll get rich and everybody will laugh. Right. And then I'll get a call from AT and T to say they're sorry. Won't be the first time. Well, I'm, I'm apologizing, sir, and I definitely hope you have a better day. Again, my name is Tony Johnson, and I hope you have a good day, sir. All right. I appreciate it. So you, you're, you're giving me the September credit, and I, I never have to worry about it again. Right. It's, it's been canceled. Order has been submitted, and you have a credit now. It's $77.96 on your account. Yes, sir. All right. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, man. 40 minutes and 33 seconds just to fix it again and this is the third time I've done it.